Hello guys, it's me, the Green Man Buckseller. And Hello. that's my wife Amy. So what is yesterday and today I'm uh, in the town hall as part of the Shaftesbury Emporium, so I'm not out on the high street. Now, yesterday was a Friday and I was by myself because Amy was at work. But today is a Saturday and Amy's come with me to help me out. And to make the bookstall like neat and tight. Yeah, she, yeah, she's yeah. giving it the woman's, woman's touch. touch. That's right, yeah. So yeah, it's making a bit of a change being indoors. So what I'm going to do, guys, I'm just going to twizzle you around. Yeah, so I mean, we're in the town hall, and like I said yesterday, there's people taking down the scaffolding, so that was a bit distracting. But they're not there today, so it's all good. And like I said, I've got lots of spa selling space. So on my bookstall, in, when I'm at the market, normally I'm, I've only got space for about three boxes worth of books, but here I've got room for about six or seven or eight boxes of books just be on display look at that loads of mills and boone now i i know mills and boone ain't women's weekly but when i look at these mills and boone i am um, think of that victoria wood song when she sang saying about smack me on the bottom of a woman's weekly <laughs> i always think of that when i see mills and boone so yes it is, it's so nice to be able to display so many books at one time. One little habit I've started getting into is as soon as a book gets sold and there's a bit of space, I've been putting another book in there to sort of fill the space up. And if Amy's not careful, I'm going to start putting books where she's got her cup of tea. So, <laughs> Amy, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. I'm joking. But having said that, oh look, I, I can yeah. get two or three books in there. Yeah. <laughs> Amy, I'm joking. You can have your cup of there if you want. Well, ooh, what are you looking at? Bring Me Back by B. A. Paris. Yeah, I'm just gonna look. Maybe for myself, yeah. <laughs> There's Amy. One minute she's trying to get rid of my stock, and the next minute she's wanting to buy my stock. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Amy's buying stuff from one of the other stalls. Yes. Yeah. What have you been buying, Amy? I bought a chocolate cake, Sickle. cake of salt and a sprinkle school cake. All right, very yeah. nice. Because I've, you might be too late, they might have gone by the time you get to lunch. Yeah, eh? yeah. <laughs> I'm planning to get some of these Oreo brownie scotch eggs, yeah. but if I buy it now, I will have gone in 10 minutes. Get so. two and eat one now and eat one at lunch. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be very good for my waistline. <laughs> bye bye too. <laughs> Thank you very much. Enjoy. Yeah, so. oh, yeah. oh, I take the oh no, I'm, I'm doing a bit of filming. Okay. So, yeah. right. so. You're yeah, my first customer today, he bought a book for a pound and all the other one in was a £20 note. So I was like, yeah, externally, I was like, yeah, that's fine, that's no problem. And internally, I was thinking, really? £20 note for a £1 book? Might as well just have it for free. Either I'll buy some more books. <laughs> the joys of being a bookseller. Oh, I've left the bookstall in Amy's capable hands for a few minutes. Just making my way back to the car and popping home because I've got a DPT delivery coming soon. So, some new books so I'm getting very excited about that and what I'll do is I'll do a video on those books a like separate video so yeah uh, yesterday when I was in the town hall it was um there was workmen outside so slowly starting to take down the scaffolding so because there's been roof like the town hall roof had to be repaired so for about seven months now there's been scaffolding around the town hall and it's finally starting to come down they were doing it yesterday made it to the start and as a result hardly anyone came into the town hall yesterday i did a few sales but it was pretty dead pretty dead and i mean i did 24 pound 50 so I can't complain too much you know but not as much as what i've taken 
on a Thursday market store. Now uh, today, one good thing about today is uh, like there's no workmen outside, so got a lot more people coming in and browsing and that. And yeah, I've done a few sales again today. At the moment, still a bit slower than what the Thursday market's been. So, oh, hello, oh, 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 just bumped into our friend, so. Uh, hello. This is Bite, Bite the Boxer. Check out his YouTube channel. So, <laughs> all right, guys, I'm just going to stop recording a sec. Oh, uh, yeah, I uh, got chatting to Bite the Boxer. And then once I finished chatting to him, Amy rang with a quick query. And by the time I finished that call, I was back at the car, so I quickly jumped in and come home. So, yes, the. Um, having a stall in the town hall as part of the Shaftesbury Emporium at the moment sales have been a little bit lower than what they have been on the market stall in the high street but on the upside so doing it in the town hall I've got a lot more space to display more books so I mean it's very early days doing the market and the town hall so just see how it goes so not sure how the two compare and I've just seen DPT turn up so I think that's my delivery so yeah I'm gonna stop recording I got back to Barton Hill car park this is a free car park in Shaftesbury and I came back into the car park just in time to see a car reversing into the space that I'd been in earlier and that was the last free space in the free car park so that discombobulated me a little bit but I know I'm not too surprised it's a sunny Saturday and it's a free car park so it's going to get filled up pretty quickly so I thought oh crumpets what do I do so I drove into town and I thought well let's do a quick lap go back to the car park and see if see if anything's changed and I got back to the car park just as one car was leaving. So I patiently waited for them to leave and quickly got that space. So I managed to get back into the free car park. So that's good. And I'm now wait, making my way back to back to the town hall. Oh, I've just come out to the kitchen area to make myself a quick brew. So there's been a lot more people coming into the town hall today browsing and that. One thing I've noticed is quite a few people as they sort of come in through the town hall doors, they have a quick look around and they seem to that seem to become confused and discombobulated and all the rest. So they seem to come in and they seem to come in and have a quick whiz round and then off they go. So yeah, I'm not sure what to make of the town hall. I think my feeling my gut feeling at the moment is Doing Shaftesbury Emporium events might be a bit of a slowly, slowly catching monkey game. I think what I'm thinking is sort of as so if I do it sort of regularly enough, people get to know that I'm there. I'll probably find sort of as time goes by, people coming and directly to me for my books. They know I'm there rather than sort of coming in and being all confused and discombobulated, like kind of thing. But there, yeah, so that's just a bit of a difference between here and the market. When I first the market is, I often find with the market people going by, they actually sort of they're more likely to stop and have a proper look. Whereas when they come in here, they sort of seem to come in and sort of quickly whiz around me, sort and off they go, kind of thing. Uh, on me, I had a little break and I popped out to fold a bookshop at the top of Gold Hill. So here I am spending my day selling books and on my break I go and buy a book. Wild service. What that why nature needs you. So yes. I've been buying books from Fold Books Up in Charlesbury, so I'm gonna enjoy reading that one. Oh, that's the end of day two in the uh, town hall as part of Charles Emporium. So, yeah, uh, 
not been too bad a day. So, could have been a bit better, could have been a lot worse. So, all good fun. I'm just off to get the car now from the car park, take it round to the town hall and load up with all the books. So, I think sort of going along, going forward long term could be could be a good thing doing the town hall so just have to have to see where the next like few events go tomorrow is my first day back on at the dairy part of my main job go forward lots of 12 hour shifts i'd much rather be doing the bugs so yeah hopefully going forward the books all will take off well enough for me to go full time on the books. I know I'm getting a lot of support and a lot of like positive encouragement. So yeah, I think I think this has got legs. I think it I think it could well work out. So guys, keep your eyes open. You never know. You never know. It might be might be going full time. So I mean, it's still early days, but. The fact that I get excited doing the book store, even though sales have been a bit not too brilliant the last couple of days, and the fact that coming up to fall shift at my main job, I'm thinking, I'd rather be doing me books. I think that kind of says it all, really. Especially considering. Oh, bloody old bus. I've been walking along the wrong road. <laughs> been too busy chatting here I've come a long long road oh well not to worry but anyway guys yes the um, fact I've been getting excited about the books but not so much about my main job kind of says that maybe yeah it's good to be getting full time into the books so anyway guys I'm going to bring this video to an end hope you've enjoyed watching look forward to see you in the next video guys yes going to be doing a video unboxing my new better stock so keep your eyes open for that and I'm almost at the end of the book thief I've got about 70 pages to go on that so in the next day or two I'll be finishing that and doing a book review on it so keep your eyes open guys keep your eyes open anyway like I said I'm going to bring this video to an end and look forward to seeing you again and in the meantime stay safe happy reading <laughs>